Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you've seen from the title, I'm going to Disneyland Paris. Oh my gosh, surprise. I go in three days time from Thursday to Sunday with my mum and my sister. Cannot wait to be in a Disney park. Let's just say there's been some pretty bad news received in my life in the last week or so. Um, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that in this video because this is a happy video. We are packing, we are going to Disneyland Paris and you're gonna join me for it. Right after that, I'm just gonna say, ignore my hair. It's one of those days where I'm like, I really need to shower, also need to film this video. So we're just gonna ignore that. Pretty soon we'll have some mini ears on anyway and it'll all be fine. Another thing to please ignore if you see in the video, my nails, my ears taut nails. I've had these on for over a month now, I think at this point. Can you see how grown out they are? That is crazy. Surprise, surprise, I'm a nail biter. What a shock, she's an anxious girly. And I managed to do like a really good job on not biting these. I think because they are ears, I've been like, oh, they're so cute, I don't wanna bite them off. And then the bad news last week, like I said, um, we had one fallen soldier, 1989. It's looking pretty sad, but I will be getting them redone, I think, at lunchtime today for a whole Disneyland Paris aesthetic. I am so excited. The last time I went was last July with my mum. This time, obviously, Alice is coming along, and I can't believe this. We are staying at the Disneyland Hotel, like the Disneyland Hotel, the one that, like, as you walk towards the park, the entrance to the park is the hotel. We are staying in the pink hotel. It's been closed the last few years for renovations, so it's even more magical inside. I know that back in 2018, when me, Alice and Mum went before, we went to like see the hotel at Christmas time. They had a kind of gingerbread house up, kind of Grand Floridian vibes, and we were like, oh, it'd be so cool to stay there. And then me and Mum went twice last year, and both times I was like, oh, it'd be so fun to stay there. Not gonna lie, it's a crazy price, but um, it's been a crazy year, and we've very much been looking forward to this since it was kind of embarrassing as we literally booked this the day I flew out to do the Princess Half Marathon weekend in Florida. Like, I was at the airport, with my friend and mum was messaging me being like is it all okay should we book she has an obsession she always has to have her next disney trip booked before she's even been on the most recent one so yeah it's a pack with me video um i genuinely like don't know what i'm gonna wear for this i have a few new things you know me i like to get new clothes for disney because that's kind of when i buy most of my new outfits it is for primarily disney trips but also just like holidays in general so i have a few new bits we're actually gonna like figure this out together though part of me is like this t-shirt would be cute to wear because princess taylor era's but I wore this in February when I was at Magic Kingdom for Run Disney Weekend and I'm fine with that repeating, but like not for Disney. Because for me, that is like, that's my Met Gala, which sounds so ridiculous, but it's true. So yeah, I'm gonna get down my box of ears, which is like up there and then let's get to it. I forgot my case is also up there and it's filled with my winter coats and it's what I need to pack. So I'm gonna unpack and then repack. Oh, there's my Uggs. Oh, oh. The hood's coming with me. Just a few pairs of ears. It's kind of crazy how many I have considering that like, I don't live near a Disney park. Disneyland Paris is very close, I'll give you that. It's like three hours to get there on the train, but the Eurostar is not cheap. If it was like a 50 pound return, you bet I would be there every other weekend, but it's not. So we have the ears, thumbnail. I hate myself. Um, what's new? Get to deciding what to wear with them. Me, like everyone else, has been in my bow era. Um, and I got this one from ASOS, it literally came yesterday. I was really dilly-dallying over ordering it because I couldn't find a discount code, like, anywhere. They were always excluding it from, like, the site-wide sales, and in the end I was like, it would be cute. It's actually a lot more pink than I thought. I thought it would be, like, a pure red one. Can you see it's, like, a pink detail? So, this could be my like first day arrival dress. We get into Disneyland Paris, I think three at Marla Valley. And then we literally just walk our little cases to the hotel, check in, straight into the park. So let's try this on and figure out what is to wear with it. I'm thinking it could be a day one, but also this looks gonna be pretty warm. So this could be better for like a full day. I'm gonna need the aeration. Let's try it on. I rambled for so long already, oh my God. So here is the dress. It's very cute. I think it was worth paying the extra. I don't mean extra, I mean like full price. It was £33 from ASOS, has a nice little spin to it, it's also very airy, like it's a nice thin material, nice puffy sleeve moment. I also feel like I will wear this one loads after the trip, because often I like buy a dress and it's pretty much just for Disney. So now I need a pair of ears, many options. I feel like the red is like a natural fit, because it's mostly red, so that's cute. With the keeper. Oh, it feels so good to have Disney ears on again. It's like an instant boost of serotonin. I should sit at home and work at them all day, to be honest. Just also think, like, my hair will be curled and actually look nice when I'm wearing these ears. Okay, that is a definite 
potential, but also I feel like I should try some more pinky ones, you know? Ooh, or the classics to pull out like the whole Minnie Mouse vibe with the bows. Hmm, that could be cute, actually. Maybe that works. I think I'll go ask Alice what she thinks. I'll probably just like take both and decide because I'm taking a big case for literally three nights. The other option, could I do like a more pink? No, not at all. I feel like it's just calling for like a neutral could be a white moment. This is the problem when you have too many ears. It's like picking. That's cute, but also these ears kind of bug me because they're not official ones. And they, like you can see, they move a lot. I think they're just a bit too big for my head. I thought maybe silver could work, but also. Oh no, these by contrast are too tight. They were made in the era when they were still sizing ears for kids' heads. So, you know what? I think it's a red moment. Where are my millennial pink ones? Okay, that's a problem because I definitely need those. Okay, I'll be back. So it turns out I have a whole other set of ears in this bag from my trip in February to run Disney. It is just out of control at this point, but watch me buy another pair on this trip. No. Okay, we're going with this one. That's the first outfit. I'm sorry, it's been very faffy. In terms of bags, I actually have a very exciting bag I'm going to take with me. So normally I just go with my lounge flies, as you've seen. This one's probably going to come with me because Princess Tangled was staying in the Disneyland Hotel. Did I mention that? Um, but I received a gifted bag from a Teddy Blake New York. If you watch my channel for a while, oh, I'm filming in front of a window and someone just came out onto the balcony. Hello. Goodbye. Um, so yeah, I always just use lounge flies, even in my everyday life. I'm a backpack girly, but part of me is like, mm, I am 28 now, you wouldn't know. Um, and it would be nice to have a bit more of a mature bag. So when Teddy Blake reached out, I was like, this could be my time to get an elevated, more grown up bag. So inside this box, we have my new Teddy Blake bag. Let's open it up. So they are all designs pitched by Italian designers, made with Italian leather. So and it's gonna be good quality. When it came in the post, I was like, this doesn't feel like, it should be coming to me. Here we have it in a little dust bag, and then here we have the bag. Isn't it just so cute? As soon as they reached out, I was like, this could be my time to get like a nice, pretty pink bag, especially for Disneyland Hotel. It has like the gold details, so cute. Alice had to actually show me how to open it because I'm not used to these kind of bags. Here we go, nice and spacious inside. It always has a strap, very useful. I'm thinking I'll wear it to like the cocktail bars around the resort. Have a zip pocket on the back, perfect for storing like the essentials. It's just so cute, it's just like a good little size. They are all made in Italy, but the good thing is they're actually not crazy expensive. Like they're still obviously more expensive than like a bag from Primark, but then what isn't? The whole thing is like designing bags that look and feel like a luxury bag, but it has the luxury price tag. So it's coming with me on the trip. I will link down below the information about it if you wanna check it out. Teddy Blake, if you're watching this, thank you because I love it and I feel like everyone's gonna be so surprised when they see me with this. Like, that just doesn't look like me, does it? Maybe it will be. Maybe I'm entering my new era. I mean, things are gonna change, so maybe it's time to get a new bag and we. new era. Anyway, I'm not talking about that in this video because I will cry anyway. <laughs> First outfit is done. This could be a day one or it could be like full day one, like day two. Because I do have one dress, but it is more like a midi dress. And I'm like, is that realistic when it's currently forecast to be about 30 degrees? when we're there. Okay, this next one is from Urban Outfitters. I haven't bought from them in years because I walked past and the mannequins are so teeny tiny that it kind of puts me off. Um, but they had a sale on, on dresses and I saw this dress and I was like, could be the one. This is it, it has that cute little like muck made style, but also it's a midi dress, it has a cute hem, let me show you. Oh, it's not all of my stuff there. Um, but it has like a really nice hem that's all like slightly different cut lengths, which gives slightly more of an edge to it, I think. So I love this one, but like, I don't know how practical it is for a full day in a Disney park. So this could be like the day one because I'm only getting in from probably like by the time we got into our room and like freaked out and stuff, four. But the park stays open till like 11. So it's like a good few hours in it. So it is for this one. It could be a millennial pink moment. Is that a good match? Sometimes the camera says it differently than in real life. It's slightly off, but when it's on my head, will you notice? Ooh. I like it a lot. I do, I do, I like it a lot. Okay, I'm checking it in the mirror. It's pretty perfect, but just for argument's sake, let's try one of the other many pairs that I have because I wear these ones all the time, but also they work so well. I have these ones that are more like the rose gold and this bow, it's like the exact color of my dress. Oh, I love it. And these ones are also slightly bigger because these ones again were made in the days of like tight headbands and these were a slightly softer fit. It could be these. Okay, I'm excited. This is day one, arrival, snack, Parade, small world, 
vibes, champagne on Main Street, and cute pics. This is the one. Everything is better when like I have a cute outfit and I'm in a Disney park. I just feel so much more myself. Let's also try it with like the Teddy Blake bag just to see. The combo, aren't we just obsessed? Let me tilt this down so you can like see my full. Just imagine she's walking to the Disneyland hotel. I'm walking to the cocktail bar. I have my bag, my ears. She's feeling cute. Let's get the strap out just to see. Oh cute, it has like a padlock little tag to attach as well. So, the strap, I'm assuming we just clip it on these bits, and cute, perfect, we have it. Two outfits done, two to go. As you can tell from this video so far, I'm very much embracing the pink vibes on this trip. We have the hotel, Paris also has like a very pink aesthetic, I would say world is more like a blue. Disneyland California gives me pink, but also weirdly orange. Like a warm orange. But Disneyland Paris is the pink park. So we had to honor it with pink. So time to try on another fit. And spoiler alert, this one is pink. So this is a little bit different for me. Um, wouldn't normally wear like athleisure clothing to a park, but I got sent this dress from Popflex. If you don't know Popflex, they are owned by Blogger Lartes and they do the cutest athleisure wear. They've always been very popular, but they kind of exploded when Taylor bought their purple score in the Fortnite YouTube short she did. So they sent me this cute one i can never get the angles right on these videos they sent me now you can't see me also on tiptoe they sent me this cute little dress it has a perfect little bone pocket there let me check the forecast quickly so currently for friday the forecast for manavelli jesse which is where it is not actually in paris if you didn't know 31 degrees we have been having the worst summer in terms of weather in england and we have not got anywhere near that temperature so i feel like this could be really good for just spending like the full day in the park i'm thinking a very tried and tested pair of ears the lover ones me and my friends call them the lover ears because they are like the leather aesthetic they're not actually called that but i feel like that is just like a classic all day i think with this one i will wear the tangled bag like princess on the move also take this lounge flow which is very cute colors or if i'm trying to be like compact i could take my once upon a bron bum bag which i also love and goes very well color wise i just don't know if i can only have this all day because i will have my vlog camera obviously i will be vlogging it backpack off first that would be so cute though maybe this is like my go back to the parks after dinner kind of accessory but yeah i feel like that is the friday night and then when it comes to the final outfit i really have very little idea i could wear so start the video i was wearing these like gingham shorts these are from uniqlo i literally live in them i could do that with like a little tee i just keep it chilled i'm really bad with like not wanting to wear clothes i want all the time in a disney park because again it feels like it's something new and exciting also why is my hair like it looks so dark in the camera right now i swear it's not that dark here alive i paid to have this done and it's looking very brunette welcome to my t-shirt draw it's mainly Disney t-shirts. So if we can't get something in here, that's my problem, not the drawers. We do have Walt Disney Disneyland t-shirt, but I'm one of these people, like I won't wear a world t-shirt to Paris or a Paris t-shirt to California. Like, no, I want to fit the park I'm in. Even in world, like I wouldn't want to wear a studios t-shirt to Epcot, like dress for the park, you know? Look like you planned this. We have this one, but it's actually an XL and looks ridiculous if I wear it out. It's very much designed for chilling. Eras. No, this one, not Paris vibes, world. This one could work, because I'm staying in the Disneyland hotel. Did I mention it? That could work, it's just I've had it for so long. And you know when it feels like, it doesn't feel like a going out piece, like it feels a piece, it's a t-shirt. It doesn't feel like something you wear out, it feels like a very much stay at home. We'll try it. Luca, no. California, no. Taylor Swift, no. World, no. No, no, no. This one could be cute. It says, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. And maybe I need reminding of that right now. That one could work. Beignet all day. Sam got me that one. That's quite cute. Although I'm not wearing it to Port Orleans, but there are like technically beignets in Paris. They're basically filled donuts, but they do sell them on Main Street. That could be cute. We'll try that one on. Aristocats I wore last time. Memory Day I wore before that. I do wear these t-shirts. Like genuinely, I wear all of them. You just don't see them out because I mainly work from home. Another Disneyland one. Kelsey, Halloween, Christmas. If you see me buying a t-shirt on this trip, yell at the screen. Maybe it'll come through in some way ahead of time okay let's try this on and see if there's anything that we like and actually want to wear let's wear so i found another t-shirt um it actually needs to be washed but i just got it out of the laundry to give it a go just tying up the shorts right now i got this one it is like the 100th anniversary music one i've never worn it out i don't think with these shorts it is like a more low-key vibe compared to my other outfits we still have a bit of pink going on there but 
this feels more studio-y. Also, worth checking the weather. Where is my phone? So it's saying Sunday 25 degrees as well. It's gonna be warm. Whatever day it's gonna be warm. So yeah, this one could work. It's also it's kind of giving travel outfit. It's kind of giving like I'm at the station on my way to Disneyland, but not actually there yet. So now we're at square one. Yeah, because I'm not gonna travel in that long dress. I'd have to wear something else. And like I said, I do wear these shorts all the time, so it kind of doesn't feel like special. But if I was to wear it in the park, I feel like these green ears, there's hair in all of my ears. These green ears would go really well and like bring out the green of Tafiti at the top. That could work. This needs to be like steamed as well, I'm aware. Um, it could be cute. I'm just not feeling that inspired by it. <laughs> if we want to go full pink for the whole trip, I do have this pink romper, which Instagram has seen it, but Disney hasn't. That could be cute. Um, yeah, I feel like I need to fade this one out off camera. Very, very sorry, because currently my mind's just going a bit like, mm, many, many options, many, many thoughts. I do also need to remember to pack some friendship bracelets. Can you see them? My mound of friendship bracelets. There are so, so many. A lot of these, most of these are tailored. I did make some Disney ones for my trip last year. This one says Wondrous. We have a little DCP one. One says Disney. I feel like I'll pack a few of these to wear with my outfits. So yeah, we have our bags, shoes. We'll be wearing the white ones every day. It's all about comfort. Camera is being packed. Canon G7X Mark II. Chargers, we need a fuel rod. We need another battery pack. Sunglasses I'll get. They're there. I'm just talking through my list right now. Nails need to be done. Let me just sit you back down for a second. We can talk the last things through. So yeah, that's pretty much my outfits. As we can see, I'm one outfit down. Um, don't buy anything else, you have enough. As you can see, there's many dresses here. Just pick one. This one is kind of giving travel vibe to me though. So, cause I know Alice will wear a dress every day and I don't want to be in shorts if she's wearing a dress. It's a hard life. I just want to feel like a little princess for a few days and have a twirl around and forget everything else that's going on. Speaking of princess actually, they released the themes for the princess weekend for Run Disney next year. I was like, no, I'm not doing it before they released the themes and I'm still on the edge. So Mulan, I didn't grow up with the movie. I didn't watch it till university, which I know is crazy. That was a no for me. Also like the 5K, you kind of only really do it to like complete the weekend. It's just a walk at the end of the day and I go for a 5K walk in my lunch hour. So I feel like I've done it. But anyway, if it was like a bell medal, yes, but it's Mulan, I don't love her. Um, Jasmine is my least favorite princess. She's the 10K. So again, I don't feel like I need to, but then Aurora is the half. Sleeping Beauty would be so cute to have. I already have the pop flex dress I could wear for make it pink. Lucy and Mel, my friends I did it with last year, are keen. I feel like I'd love to do a half and like just enjoy it because also I did do a half marathon in the UK a couple months ago and the time I got would be enough to qualify for one of the higher groups. So again, I could like take it really chilled have a really good time but i also have another big running event coming up next year which i'll bring up in another video there's a teaser for you so yeah if you think i should do it maybe comment down below and if there's enough people that are interested maybe i will because i'm like 60 percent yes but also i had to get a place and sign up and everything anyway this is not a run disney vlog this is a disneyland paris packing vlog um and i hope you enjoyed it so if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe for the vlogs to come i'm gonna try to get them up as quick as possible be vlogging every single day maybe there'll be two vlogs a day who knows? I can chat as we can see. Comment down below anything you'd like to see from Paris. I feel like not much has changed from last summer apart from there's the new parade daytime show that's replaced Dream Shine Brighter, RIP. Hopefully they bring it back. But the main thing that's different and new is obviously the hotel. So I'll be showing all of that, every detail as much as I can, soaking it all up and just having the most magical time, hopefully. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you real soon. Oh, the jungle VIP I've reached the top and had to stay